Okay, this is part two. We are having some real technical difficulties today. I don't know why. <laughs> why we're having so many difficulties, but we are. So this is part two of Misty. She like disappeared and then I couldn't see her when she was... Okay, Misty, I've added you. Oh, oh, okay. We're gonna... Hi. Hi. Ah. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We're just having some I'm issues a child. You are a problem child, a good one though. <laughs> We have good problems with you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Take it just shows you. you. We talked about, you talked about Total Request Live, and then that was about where we were. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that's right. Okay, yes, it adds fun to it. And Michelle and I are great at flying by the seat of our pants. So <laughs> this is just typical. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you talked about being oh, yourself. Your that's right yeah. that's right okay. being yourself um listen i literally fell on camera once to cover for me and i put my hand all you see is my little hand and i said i'm okay <laughs> and they thought that was the funniest i was thing. gonna say that would be hilarious i would be laughing i'm like do it again yeah. do it again misty every party <laughs> I know, and I just got hung up in my computer and iPad and phone cords, and it just, it was all over, but I didn't let it stop me. I mean, our viewers increased, people were laughing, it was so funny, and you just go with it is my point. Yes, yes, so you just go with it. So my other thing was Battle of the Hostess and how I had the two ladies, um, the two secretaries that kind of, they both work in offices, and um you know, they just kind of battled it out. So we had the battle of the hostess live and then everybody was kind of waiting on the edge of their seats for the numbers when the girls would turn in their baskets. And um, it was so fun. Well, the key to this is basket parties, you guys, show someone that they can sell paparazzi. I love them. I do two a month. That's my goal. I do more. I have the inventory to do it. I put a hundred pieces in a basket and to me, it's like, listen, if you're going to steal that, God is watching. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, I feel like I have a relationship with them. I always get questions. Do you have a waiver and a consent form? No, I don't. Um, I do use the honest honor system. Um, I'm not, I'm not, not wise. If I don't feel like I can trust them, I don't. Um, but that really added a spin to our battle of the hostess. That was fun. They loved it. And Chrissy Volpini is now a consultant. Woo! Woo! Yep. So she And it came from that, just impromptu, having fun. Listen, in your lives, don't be afraid to talk to them. I love what Natalie Hadley said. I watch her a lot on her lives just to kind of get some, you know, a fresh face. We're very different. And so I like to watch her to get ideas. Mm -hmm. And she's fun, you know. <laughs> But one thing that she does is she'll just be, you know, messing around with something. But she's like, what are you guys having for dinner? Oh, my gosh, you guys. You know, I'm so hungry. What did you have? And they just start asking, well, last night we had a moment, a technical difficulty. And that's what I did. I said, all right, so tell me what's for dinner. Here's what we had. We literally had McDonald's. Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> but they just started engaging. Make sure you're personal with them. Um, know your numbers, know where you're at, especially if you are a team leader, know your numbers, know where you're personally sponsored are at. Some people are doing it for a hobby. Some people don't want to be bothered. You have to honor that. But those that want it, give them all you can. I always suggest having a smaller group. Johnny's Jewels is amazing. United Fashionistas is amazing. Those are recommended groups. You can add those to your group. Those are recommended in mine. But we have a smaller circle of 350 ladies, and that's ours. We've got a thing for bling. It started out with three people, me, Lisa Harms, and Darlene Sidress. And we, that really helps whenever you can build, just like church, when you have small group and you get that intimate setting. There's something about that that's close and personal. Have your own, even if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> And it's at your fingertips. Have you been on YouTube for paparazzi? I mean, you can literally learn this business without a sponsor. You shouldn't have to, but you totally can. 
Um, I don't know, Michelle. <laughs> I feel like I've talked your heads off. Oh no, you've been awesome. Okay, are you want to take some questions? Sure, I'd love to. Well, before we take questions, um, she lets me be part of her group. She invited me. Some people invite me, and some people don't. Doesn't offend me if I'm not part of a group. Um, and just because I'm part of her group doesn't mean I'm in there all the time. If it pops up in my feed, I'm in your, like, I, yeah. otherwise I don't go in people's groups and read. But I love, love, love what she does in her group that I see. Um, can I tell mm -hmm. them the sheet where you have people um, post their dashboard? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, you know your dashboard on your apps where you can go in and you can kind of see like your volume for your month, life at the party and all of that. She has her teammates, you know, do that to encourage and and I love it. I love like, mm -hmm. oh, what else do you do that I love? But her her small group is fabulous. You know, it's mm -hmm. great to be part of a big group and I want you mm -hmm. to. Oh yeah. There's stuff like this that smaller groups are not going to have, you know. Um mm -hmm. you you, most people aren't going to go up and ask the, you know, 20 of the top consultants in the company to come speak on their group when they only have 12 people in their group, right? So there are mm -hmm. lots of different things and big contests that with big prizes, stuff like that. But there is, a, you can be a lot more intimate and pay attention to details and everything like that when there's a smaller group. So I love her group. She is a fabulous leader. Okay. So what questions do you guys have? Um, okay. Do you do YouTube videos yourself? Um, that's funny. I hired my daughter today to help me create a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Um, because what I'm finding is I'm repeating a lot of information in our small group and I need to, because we have new people joining. I'm always afraid they're going to fall through the cracks, but I'm re you know, some of my consultants are like, okay, we know what their first 10 things to do by the time you get your kid, <laughs> you know, but I repeat it. So I want to have a YouTube channel to have those first things, first videos, um, train on battle of the hostesses and how I do it. Um, a YouTube channel is definitely in the works and will be coming within the next 30 days. And you know what? Like over and over in my head, I'm like, I need to go put this on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Yep. When we do a live video, for those of you that don't know, it does go and kind of archive itself in the video mm -hmm. tab on the left side of the group. Okay. But for some reason, a lot of people don't go look there for live videos. Um, and if you're outside of the group, it can't be shared. So Misty might share this video with her team, but if her team's not in this group, they're not gonna be able to see it. But if they're, if it's on YouTube and it's like a public channel or it's open, then her team could watch it. So there's good things about putting it on YouTube and people can find you on YouTube. People mm -hmm. can find you on YouTube. Julia U Willingham, She's on our team, well, on my team, on a sister team of <laughs> Misty's. She did the funniest thing video, like five things I hate about paparazzi. Has, have you seen yes. that? Yes. Oh, yes. it's so funny. So, of course, if you're scrolling through and you see five things I hate about paparazzi, but it's like <sighs> jewelry. I love jewelry. And now I can afford it for only two seventy five dollars a piece. And look. She has this huge bowl of rings. She's like, this is all my rings. It's pitiful, <laughs> you know? It's so yeah. funny, but she has like 10,000 views on it. Because one, because of the title. And two, because it's on YouTube and it's searchable and people are finding it. If it was just in her group, it wouldn't be. So YouTube videos are fabulous for your team and then for other people. Just realize other people not on your team are going to see it. So if it's secret just for your team, don't put it on YouTube. Or if you don't want people to see it, like something really personal, yeah. that shouldn't go on YouTube either. But okay. Um, when you first started, did you start shopping right away? Because while I'm waiting for my starter kit to come, I've done an additional three orders. I'm on the right track. What percentage do you use to invest what percentage do you use on as a starter okay so as a starter i would say so you're out 99 dollars if you've bought the small kit 
Okay, and your $99, it goes back to you telling your money what to do or your money telling you what to do. And again, I'm an accountant, so I know about money. So you got to see that you invested $99. Where we go wrong is we want to hurry up. I did this and recovered the $99, get our money back and feel secure. Okay. But this is an investment in your own business. So what I want to say to you is you are out $99 and that $99 is making money for you. So anything that $99 generates, you want to put back into your business. Okay. And so you can have an inventory so you can do basket parties so you can do total request lives so you can build confidence and an audience that knows you have jewelry at all times. So percentage wise, your commission based on paparazzi's criteria is 45%. So $2 and 25 cents. If you have, I understand we're dealing with single moms. I understand that we have retirees and we need to generate income. I understand that. So, but make sure that 55%, you don't touch it. Danny taught us to have an envelope that that's, that's your business money. You put the money in there. I would have to write it down because I get my funds digitally. But that part is not mine. It belongs to the business. If you have to tell yourself that you're working from some, for someone else and you would be stealing if you took money from the cash register. <laughs> if you have to tell yourself that to train your thinking differently, do it and keep your paycheck. But, you know, my advice in the beginning is to invest all that you can and your family not suffer. Because I never believe in bankrupting your family to, to do this. But you don't have to a paparazzi. That's the beautiful thing. Yeah. Yep. Reinvest 55% to replace what you sold. At least do that. Right. If you don't replace right. what you sell, you're putting yourself out of business. And you don't want to do that if you want to continue making money with yes. paparazzi. I way too often I hear people say, well, I needed that for a bill. And I say, yes. but how are you going to make money to pay that bill over and over and over again? If you yep. don't reinvest and replace what you sold. So <laughs> you got to think long-term guys. Paparazzi yes. is a long-term business. It's not, I'm just going to pay off this one bill and be done unless <laughs> really that's what you're doing because if you yeah. pay off, if you take all your money and you spend it and you don't have time, if you don't have money to re buy more jewelry, you're done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Brianna has a question about attraction marketing. Um, she does it. How many times a day do you post? And maybe can you give some examples of what you should be posting to help engage and be curious? Oh, sure. And it's not always paparazzi. <laughs> Um, listen, okay, so a couple times a week, I post my coffee cup, I don't put cup is sponsored by and I'll show them my cup. Because anybody that knows me really, even if you're just my friend on Facebook, you know, I love coffee and I'm highly caffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll show my cup. And then I ask them, post yours in the comments. Let me see your cup today. And they will. They just take a picture, put it in the comments, and post it. And I comment, you know, oh, I love that. Oh, I need that cup. Or is that tea in there? Coffee's my favorite, but I love tea too. You know, and we just engage and talk. Anything that's going to share life. One time, oh, I'll tell you what I did recently. Because somebody tagged me, a high school friend. Thank you, Christina from high school. Tagged me in a picture where I had the 80s bangs. You know, where it's like saw. the show. I saw it. You looked great. You looked great coming at the camera, but if you turn around, you had the shelf. And I was like, oh my God, what? I don't want that up there. But instead, I turned it into an opportunity. I took it into my VIP group. I said, you guys, so this is me at 13 or 15, whatever it was, awkward. And then I posted of me today, you know, of course, with my coffee. I said, show me your side by sides now and then if you dare. And it blew up. It blew up. Um, it's fun. Those types of those types of things are fun. So it does not always have to be attached to a giveaway. And if I can talk about giveaways, what I do in my group is you will win five. You'll win a dollar amount off. 
none of this free piece because if I'm doing a free piece, I'm doing free shipping and I'm doing tax and people, it takes away from my customers that are paying sometimes, if you know what I mean. So I do dollar amounts. Um, you're going to win $5 off your next order. Okay. Go ahead. But you're not doing a dollar off a piece, right? Because you're doing no. like a dollar off shipping, a dollar off that, no. right? So be very no, careful. No. Don't, don't okay. mistake I what need Missy to is saying. <laughs> yeah, I need to restate that. It's a dollar amount. And it's, okay, it's always $5. The price of a piece of jewelry, instead of you're going to get this $5 necklace, I'm going to have my shipping, my tax, I'm covering everything. So it's almost eight bucks. Um, so I do $5 off your next order. $5, not even $1, Michelle. It's $5, $10. They can earn 25. Well, some people will do a dollar off shipping instead of saying free oh. shipping, like a dollar off shipping or $2 off shipping. Cause you I know, maybe, thought of that. maybe you have the $7 shipping. If you do free shipping, you're out seven bucks versus out one or two dollars so i just i wanted to make sure people didn't misunderstand Please. what you were saying because yes and say yes. well misty said we could do uh, -uh. she's not no, saying no, no. you can't discount the jewelry no. below five dollars no. doing a dollar off of a piece would be doing that okay but no it's not a dollar off of a piece you can all. do a dollar off shipping two dollars off shipping you guys there's some really fun ideas if I can just insert this, like, um, you know, once you buy four pieces, five pieces, you can, you'll reach inside a bag for a prize. The prize is like no tax mm -hmm. or a dollar off shipping or $2 off shipping, things like that. But don't break compliance. To don't break, break compliance. compliance. Don't. Okay. Um, what, give, yeah, some other examples of attraction marketing for paparazzi. For, yes. I'm sorry. Do you, do you have some other <laughs> other examples of things you post that are examples of popper like attracting them to paparazzi itself? Yeah, Wear It Wednesday is a big one. A Wear It Wednesday, they know that they can or they can win. You know, they can win off of their next order if they post. I draw a winner and somebody wins that prize, um, which is equivalent to a free piece of jewelry. Um, <clears throat> So that's another one. And then I post things like when we, when we leased our car, you know, sometimes it's not about the two, $3,000 a month to somebody. Sometimes it's the stay at home mom who wishes she had a car to take the kids to the park during the day. That can be two to $300 a month. And you guys know that with live parties, you can literally make that mm -hmm. easy in profit. And start teaching yourself to speak in profit, not in just sales. Right. <laughs> profit. Um, but yes, so I will post a picture of my car and say, oh, my Lord, you know, thank, I thank God for paparazzi. And look, we're able to lease a second car, finally, you know, and that kind of thing. I, I, I post those simple things. Um, going and getting my nails done with my daughter. I never got my nails done until this year. And I've been doing that. It's just something I really like when I see it on ladies, but I wasn't willing to put that money out regularly. I didn't feel like we could afford it. And now it's something I do with my daughter on Fridays. It's called Mama Me Day. And um, I'll post about that, you know, sharing some girl time with my daughter. Thank you, paparazzi. Yeah. That's just stuff like that. That's important. You got to remember... And also, it's not always the stay-at-home mom, the single mom, the person that's in despair that paparazzi's good for, or the person that's in despair that paparazzi's good for. Paparazzi's also good for the corporate executive who's thinking about retirement. Mm -hmm. You don't know the retiree that wants to supplement. You know, you, you got to think, there's men out there that can rock this business, you guys. <laughs> can you imagine a live with a guy and he's just up there like sh all the rings are covered or fingers are covered with rings. I mean, don't close your mind to the people that you're reaching. Yeah. Yep. The thing is, you guys, you need to show just like, uh Oh, who was it? Nina said the other day, don't just talk about 45% commission. Talk about what paparazzi does for you. I, over and over. Mm -hmm. I say this. 45% commission does not mean much to people saying I was able to buy groceries from this last party yes. for the whole week. That means something. 
um, saying I have multiple streams of income, that means something to somebody else. So yeah, mm -hmm. don't just attract one kind of person, attract everybody. If you if you're friends with me on Facebook, we get to do lots of fun things. And um, I don't even have to write because of paparazzi anymore. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the beginning, I did. Okay. In the beginning, I did. But now I don't. Um, I could. But mm -hmm. in the beginning, I would because people didn't know, like, this is happening because of this business that she's doing on the side. Now people know this is my business. This is my life. This is why my family can afford to do all these great things. So the uh, one thing about attraction <laughs> marketing, it is awesome, but it often takes a while for people. Yes. Okay. So I will tell you, I've been in six and a half years. Two to three years after I started is when people that I hadn't approached about joining started contacting and asking questions. Two to three years. So don't just rely on attraction marketing. Still talk to people, right? Yes. Don't you agree, Misty? If you just depend I on people coming to you, you'll grow mm -hmm. if you stick with mm -hmm. it long enough. But you still need to talk to people. You do. You do. And you see those opportunities. They come to you every day, but you still need to talk to people. Um, and that was what pushed me out of my box yesterday, listening to the young lady that spoke from California. I picked 25 ladies I would never pick before. And I just said, hey, girl, you should sell jewelry with me. And yeah, now I'm meeting with the lady that I used to work with. And she's going to kill it if she signs up. I promise you she will. I know her. You know, but, um, and she's a successful, uh, she operates, she's a district manager for a retail business. So to think of her was totally outside my box. She's the last one I thought would have said, okay, let's have lunch. And um, if she's a retail man district retail manager, she knows a lot of people. You guys, yes. there a, a lot, Misty said, don't just go to the, the people that are desperate, that are at home doing nothing. The people that are really, a lot of people that are doing really, really well in this business are people that already have jobs and already are busy and are highly accomplished. Why are they doing well? Because they have huge networks and they are talking to people all the time. They start wearing the jewelry, which is attraction marketing. They mm -hmm. start dropping a few lines Number about paparazzi. One. Right. Number one of attraction marketing is wear the jewelry and take pictures. Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't you agree? Absolutely. Yes, yes. No, Wanda Turner on my team. She's on my second line. This lady travels weekly to Philadelphia, Maryland, different places she has sent with her job. And I'm telling you, she she goes live from all over whatever hotel room she's in. <laughs> and and she has she can only do it for 20 minutes, but she shows multiples, she gets it done. And she's getting ready to hit executive direct producer. She's ready to hit producer. Yeah, producer. This one. And she has no time. No time. Yeah. But you'll know her. She's branded herself. She's raising champions. She's a fit mom. She loves to work out. She loves that sweet grandbaby that her little um, daughter just had. You know what I mean? That's another thing. Branding yourself. Letting people know the things that, that are great about you. People that follow me on Facebook, know that number one, I love the Lord, my family, my husband. I love paparazzi and all the friendships I get to make. There's so many friendships here that I would not have. It's a, and, and I'm a minister. This is ministry to me. Mm -hmm. There's been so many times that I've been able to bless a paparazzi sister or just pray with her and those, or they will reach out to me. Like I just thought of you and, and I need help and be able to minister to them on that level there's something different about paparazzi, you guys. There's something different. I don't make a habit of putting my hands to things that are not vital to the kingdom or do not advance the kingdom in some way. And I want to say this about Michelle while she's sitting here. Michelle is where she is because God can trust her with what she has. What she has and what she's been blessed with and what she's earned it doesn't have her. It does not possess her. Mm -hmm. It's not something, she's not looking for a title or anything like that, but it's coming to her because she can be trusted with it because 
she literally embodies the kingdom. She wants to give, she wants to share, and she wants to help people. That's the heartbeat of paparazzi. If you do that one thing and forget about all this other stuff, oh my Lord, <laughs> it'll work. That's a great business plan in itself. Do you agree? If you help people get what they want, yes. you're yes. going to get what you want too. And if yep. money is good, but there's yep. lots of other things that paparazzi provides and helps with besides money. And honestly, yes. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Happiness. Don't. Happiness and feeling confident is, you know, is something that I would, I, 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 you know, I felt happy and whatever, but I'm way better than I was then, you know, before I joined. So mm -hmm. uh, one of Me the too. things, one of the things that I use attraction marketing with is that I have so many friends all over the country and mm -hmm. those pictures that I take at, um, with paparazzi consultants smiling. Yes. Do you know how many people at my church talk to me about you were you were glowing, you were shining? Like, I can tell mm -hmm. you have such a great influence on people, and and they love what paparazzi has done for me, and they see yes. the good in it. And I, it's not like I'm preaching it, but they just see it in pictures. That they. they Mm -hmm. They, they, you know, everybody knows I have tons of friends all over the country and in Puerto Rico, which is yeah a country, but you know, anyway. Yeah. Okay. How do you get new hostesses? How do I get new hostesses? I, I pitch for them during my lives. I say, ladies, all these hostess rewards, they could be going to you, <laughs> you know, and, or I just start conversations and then somebody will say, well, Michelle will do it. That's what they always do in my group. They call somebody else's name. I'm like, okay, Michelle, who are you calling to do a battle with the hostess? With you? you know, and, and then it may just end up being one hostess, but that's how, that's how I do that. Have you ever asked somebody and well, you said when you first got it started, you asked people to be hostesses, right? Yes. And yes. And right now I'm. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you know, go ahead. Uh, sometimes you guys, if somebody's getting a bunch of free jewelry or getting buying a bunch of jewelry, just say, "Hey, you know what? I would love to get you your next ten pieces free." Like mm -hmm. all your friends see you wearing it. Why don't you host a party? You get some for free, and then your friends can learn. You know, can come to the party too. It doesn't yeah. have to be this super awkward. I'm gonna make you feel totally uncomfortable thing. It can be mm -hmm. just kind of a casual, fun thing. If they say no, you, I just say, okay, well, if you change your mind, let me know. I'd love to get free know. stuff. Yep. Period. Yeah. And some people, listen, I have, funny story, I have a lady in my group, same thing. She spends $100 a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a week. And she goes to my church. And she's in one of these big offices that is in my VIP group where all these ladies are represented. And I'm like, you need to sell pop rock. You would be great at this. I've approached her, I don't know how many times. So I deliver her jewelry in church. Well, after about six weeks of delivering to her, I noticed I was kind of waiting until her husband wasn't there. I was starting to feel <laughs> awkward because she pays me by check. <laughs> she pays me by check. And I trust her to do that. So I finally went over. I said, Jeff, I want you to know I'm not taking advantage of your wife. I have not blackmailed her and I've offered her this business opportunity and she won't take it. He said, Misty, the look on her face when she watches your lives and engages with you ladies, that's her girlfriend time. She doesn't want to sell it. I said, okay. But it was funny because I started feeling like, I hope he doesn't think like she's paying. I don't know. <laughs> like I'm taking advantage of her. <laughs> that's funny. That's the, yeah. So she asks people and then she asks people. Sometimes yep. you approach them just Absolutely. Sometimes you ask as a group. Um, how do you do a hostess with a live video? A hostess with a live video. So I announce all week long. I kind of post her picture, tell everyone about her. She's going to be inviting her friends. Be sure to join the live. It's going to be fun. And we go from there. And she just invites them once she goes live. Yeah. Okay. No, she invites, she lets them know all week. I give her a link. I let her know she can add them to the VIP group. Oh, yeah. And my, my quote is you can stop, you can stop shop and roll. Um, I don't want hostages. I want friends. So if you want to just stay for Dawn's party, that's fine. You won't hurt my feelings if you leave, but nine times out of 10, they stay. I make sure they know I'm not going to spam them or harass them, you know, 
Um, but and now my VIP group, so it was 300 that last year at this time, it's 1100 now. And they want to be there. Yep. This is 1100 people that have chosen to be there. So you, you do your lives in a group. I do them on my business page and I share them back to my group and personal pages. Okay. So that's how she does it. Cause that's usually the yep. question that comes up is where do you do your lives? So she does it on her yep. business page, but you also share it to your personal page. Don't you? I share it to my personal page and I have someone don't leave an awkward empty space. Cause when somebody comes into that and sees that they leave, Ashley is with me, my assistant, and she's talking to everybody, welcoming them. Misty's sharing the live, you know, so they're not, they're not missing a, they're not, there's not dead air there, right. but I do. I do my personal page to share it to my VIP group. And then I also have text alerts. So those are scheduled to let everybody know if they want to from my Google checkout form. They've told me if I can text alert them. Um, I do that throughout the week send them little things like new pieces just dropped just like we get new releases i'll tell them new pieces just dropped in the vip group and they'll go check it or that the party's coming but the hostess has to do her work her friends are what generates her hostess rewards so you don't and everybody else you don't pay customers. her hostess benefits on your normal customers right unless they message me and say hey misty i want you to put this towards dawn and i'll do that I'll do that. So you guys, if you're looking to get new customers, this is a great way and at, um, build your VIP group. This is a great way because she's adding people to the, her group and they can choose mm -hmm. to stay or not stay. She's just not adding them spammy, you know, like, yes. So the 1100 people are there because they want to be. Okay. Right. How soon did you open a transition, a training group once you began to sponsor? <laughs> um, once I had my second consultant, so pretty quickly, pretty quickly, within four months, I had one. If you've got one person, the two of you can dream together, build a foundation. Yep. But you got, a, what, keep in mind, Misty said at the very beginning, she didn't take it very seriously for a long time. Nope. So her group no. has gotten a lot stronger, probably what the last year, year and a half. Last 10, 10 months. I'm going to plug into my power source here. Yeah. Good idea. Okay. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So fun. I love this. I love training, teaching. I love sharing what I know. Nothing's a big secret. Um, we want to help you. We want it. We want you to do this because you can, but there is one thing you guys, we can't do it for you. I can inspire you all day long, but I cannot motivate you to do it. Yeah, that is that is key. You have to go out and do it. Oh, Chris, mm -hmm. Crystal had an idea, and I'll just share this with the group if you didn't read it. Crystal does blue okay. bucks, $1 or $5, like with giveaways and stuff like that. If they get the $1, $1 they can use it towards Starlet Shimmer, tax, or shipping, or they can save up $1 bling bucks to buy a $5 piece. So that's a really good idea, but they can't, yeah, yeah. They can't buy a piece for $3 using a $2 bling block because that would be against compliance. Correct. And you guys, not, every, not everything needs an incentive. People right. are constantly, constantly, constantly incentivizing people. You're shooting yourself in the foot because then they don't do anything without an incentive. Mm-hmm. You know? Remember, I remember when I was a little kid, I would try, I was like third grade, but I would try to buy my friends with quarters. I would buy little Debbies at the bookstore and try to bribe them to be my friends. <laughs> and they wouldn't be my friends unless I had little Debbies. No. Don't do that in your business. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Become friends with them. Be someone they want to be friends with and admire things about them and, and celebrate who they are. Give them opportunity to share with you who they are. Okay, sorry. Hi, I'm going oh, down. Hi, okay. Oh, that's my problem. I give don't don't give away everything, you guys. Don't. No. They people no. don't need tons and tons of giveaways to buy five dollar jewelry that's cute. They don't. They don't. Okay, I can't go down anymore. Am I missing some of this? Are there any other questions, you guys? Rashonda, you I saw know it, girl. About, I saw one about no. Uh, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. 
out. I, I saw up in the very beginning, how do you check your numbers? You guys, I did a video on how to check your numbers in your back office. It's in the videos. You will have to kind of click on the videos and read the titles. But Misty, do you want to say how you check your videos really quickly or your numbers? Yes, I do. I want to make sure I've got power here, though. This is making me nervous. Um, so I have a formula. I'm sure it's not um, a surprise to anyone or anything new. So I take today's, if you go to, um, I believe here, I got it pulled up. It's always pulled up. Paparazzi is always on my computer. Um, <laughs> and I'm looking, it's, it's under commissions. And it's called My Next Level. And there's this beautiful little column all the way to the right that says capped overall volume. So today that number is 14,398 for my team. That's the amount I can use with the paparazzi one-third rule, okay? And, and so I divide that by yesterday's date because that's usually current, would you agree, Michelle, up to last night's new releases? Yeah. If, if not, it's only off by a little bit usually because it, yeah. it doesn't update. This specific tab, I don't think updates immediately. It updates. Right. A couple of times. Right. Um, so that, my next level, the other one is um, if you have a big team and you want to check the numbers of your team, bonus qualifications is huge. Yes. Bonus huge. qualifications, you can see people's volume. You can see how many active teammates they have. Yep. You can see their volume towards rank. Um, yes. Tons, and that's what I use to check my team is bonus qualifications. So that's a good one there. Yes. So then I take that number. I just did it um, today and I know it every day. So it's 14,398 and I divided it by what was yesterday's date? The seventh. <laughs> the seventh. So I divided it by seven and came up with a number. I can't, I didn't write it down here, but the total once, then I multiplied that number by the days of the month and there's 28 and that capped volume number kept, gets me at 50,372. So our team, but I have a very strong leg. This could go left of center before the end of the month. I have a very strong leg. That's rocking. Tamara Jones and her team are killing it. So there becomes a point that I can't use any more of her team. So what does that mean? I have to make sure I'm working with my other legs as well. Mm -hmm. But does that mean I don't work with Tamara? No, her and I had dinner this week. We went through numbers, you know, I'm working on where she can go helping her. Um, I do my best to invest in those that are, um, that are under me or with me, as we like to say. And, um, but I know those numbers every day because numbers don't lie. They tell you when something's right and they tell you when something's wrong. When I was in retail, I could call my store because of the numbers on the screen and say, you've got this going on. You've got a thief on register too. I'm, but I could see it. I knew it because of the sales per customer would dip when they were on and go back up when anybody else was running or, or, or they don't know how to do math. It doesn't always have to be, it didn't always have to be someone being dishonest. Maybe they didn't know how to count back change. There's an issue at register too. I could tell them over the phone and it's the same way when you learn these numbers. Yeah. Another easy, um, somebody said, does everybody have this? Wait, you're, you have, we have the, um, the, I have pro the pro version. So I've always had the pro version. I don't know yeah, me too. what you have, but I pay an easy way to tell is, um, would be on their app. Wouldn't it? It wouldn't be completely current, but it would be a good start. I just go to, you know, when you log in on the left side, you click that little down arrow on your home yeah. screen yeah. and it says the volume and that updates almost immediately. That one, um, last three period volumes, I click the little down button and it says your G your GV, which is group volume. I divide that by the number of dates and then I times it by um i times it by you know how many days are in the month and that's what my total group volume should be towards the end but it doesn't account for the one-third rule so 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, next question. How do you get your team motivated? I got to hurry and talk to some of my husband for a second. So okay. talk, keep talking. I got to have, keep, yes, keep, I'm going to ignore you for a minute. Okay. Okay. Everybody say hi to Chris. Oh, <laughs> he's in there. Okay. 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 Okay, guys. So what was it? How do, how do you keep your team motivated? Again, I can inspire them all day long, but I can't make them do anything. Um, but I give them all the tools that they need. I try to reach out to them. I try to communicate with them as the team gets bigger. I will admit that there is potential for people to fall through the cracks. Um, so I have developed a system to keep an eye on, uh, on them. And I also keep an eye on people that just joined and maybe rising stars. Like they just joined last month and their volume is a thousand. Holy cow. <laughs> I need to talk to this person, you know, want to make sure they're getting all the tools that they need and see if they need anything because obviously they're serious about what they're doing. Um, but motivating the team, you know, things like this, going live, talking to them, giving them opportunity in a live platform to ask me questions or I share with them the promotions or the emails. Um, also, like Michelle said, I get them engaged by accountability is huge to me. So if you're taking a screenshot of your dashboard and posting it for everyone, you're showing right where you're at. And then we get to shout out like, oh my gosh, you're going to hit Crown Club 5 this month or you know, or we can, I, or I'll hop on and say, I can tell that you are reinvesting. Look at that volume, you know, um, and just lots of shout outs, lots of recognition. And I honestly, I believe the best motivation is them being successful. So yeah, this is where being a good sponsor comes in. You guys, that first month that they're in the business is the most important month of them being in the business. Because if they don't get off to a good start, they don't. If you teach them correctly how to, like, have a life party, help them to have success, and how to continue that, they're going to keep going, you guys. It's when <laughs> they're not making money and when they're not having success that you have to try to motivate people. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel like that's like once they're once they're having success, they're going to keep going. People, most people, most people, every once in a while, you know, life happens and somebody that's having success decides I can't do this right now or whatever. But yeah. most of the time, if people are having success, they're going to keep going. So that's the key is you just help people to be making money and finding value and finding happiness in paparazzi because you mm -hmm. people are not going to keep buying jewelry if they're never selling it. And they don't need to be That's responded right. to um, to be active if they're having a weekly live party. So mm -hmm. the whole thing is helping them. And it, maybe it's fear. Maybe they're not doing it because of fear. Well, then you know, well, I, got to, I get to help you overcome your fear. If they're close to you, can I yes. come sit with you for a live party? Can I do a live party with you? Can I do a split screen? Can I, you know what I mean? Yes. That, that's kind of what I think. Um, somebody says, what if you reach out to a personally sponsored or whatever, and they just ignore you? Well, if it happens multiple times, probably they're not interested and yeah. like I, or they're, they're done. They aren't mm -hmm. willing to give it a, a, you know, a try or whatever. And we don't chase, we replace. Yeah. And, and, and my last straw is usually a card that says, I appreciate you or something like that, or thank you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'll just write inside of there. Just wanted to reach out to you one more time. I didn't want to assume that you saw my messages. Um, but if you need anything in the future, please let me know, you know, and cause in the mail, they're going to get it. And let's face it, ladies, when we get mail, we want to open it. So I just try to say something encouraging, but let them know the ball's in your court. If you need anything further, just let me know. Cause yeah, we don't want to chase people or harass them, right. but that's why you continually recruit when I hear girls go I just need so and so to be active or I'm not going to get paid as a director oh I feel so bad for them but at the same time it's like snap out of it you're supposed to be recruiting mm -hmm. you should be sharing the opportunity with people it's you cannot depend on just one person to make it happen and that is not that mentality is not how can I help my team succeed that is how is my team going to help me that's not the right perspective, in my opinion. 
Did I say something? No, I'm, I'm reading, I'm reading a comment. No, I, yeah. and you know what, you yeah. see, that actually shows that you care sending a yeah. personal card. If I get a personal card, I know somebody actually deeply cares, deeply cares mm -hmm. because nowadays it's so easy to shoot off an email or a personal message. But if somebody takes the time, cause I don't do it very often. If I send yeah. someone a hey. real message in the mail, that was a big effort for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but then I know that I know inside of me because I take it seriously when someone signs up under me. I do. I don't, I don't want anybody just out there. Let's see. Okay. Are you reading that, that, that thing by Brianna? Yes. I'm trying to, that's what I was reading when you said, did I say the wrong thing? Okay. Yeah. So Brianna, yes, that, um, something that Michelle kind of instilled in me, it stuck the other day. I heard her say this. She said, if we would work our business all month, as hard as we do at the end of the month, imagine how successful we would be. Um, that is another reason why it's nice when we share our dashboards to the whole group, because as leaders, I have no problem. Michelle knows I'll tell y'all what I make. I'll show you my PV I ordered. I'm not, I'm asked, I'm sharing what you can do to, you want to know what I did. I'm sharing what I did. I ordered, I partied, I replaced, you know, I recruited. I will share that with my entire team. They've come to my home. I sit down with my computer and I will show them my commission checks. I'm not scared to do that because I want them to, and then you can see the history where I wasn't serious and you can see where I started to listen to my sponsors. Okay. There may come a time when that needs to be more exclusive to prevent jealousy or things like that. But at this point, you know, in the game, it's small potatoes, but it's big potatoes to me. <laughs> but when someone, and, and to your question, how that relates to that, is when a leader is not ordering, a leader is not partying. I mean, you yourself said it, she's barely doing anything, but she's trying to get you to do this to rank. No, nobody's gonna invest in that. Nobody's gonna invest in that. But here's what I can say, is you need to have to take that hat off and put the hat on that says, I'm gonna do this for me and my team and my family. And I'm gonna help my team, whether it helps her or not, whether she advances or not, because she's gotta have three of you working. And that's hard to do, okay? But I don't want to see that hinder you from reaching the success that God has for you and for your team. So you be a good leader and lead by example to your organization. Yeah. If you are not leading by example, you need to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. What we, we On Nina's call, Nina and I were talking about that. You know, if you're so, if your team is this close to hitting a huge rank and you're working with your team all the time and they love you and you're doing what you need, sometimes they'll go order a few extra pieces to help you hit it, right? They will because they don't just want it for you. They want it for the team. They want to be able to say, you know, and I, I do think it's okay to say, guys, we are so close. So yeah, close. To I know. Okay? <laughs> Michelle has to help me with that. <laughs> And you know what? Often your teammates will go, yes, let's go for it. Because they yeah. can all put in a little extra effort yeah. to help reach a goal. But if you're just telling your team what to do and you're not doing it, it, it comes off a little hypocritical and mm -hmm. people are less likely to want to hear, help you. So if the only time your team hears from you is the end of the month, don't expect them to go do you favors, right? Because mm -hmm. that's the only time I hear from you is when I, you want to hit rank. Well, no, you know, right. I'm not going to go overextend myself when you're not even trying to help me. Um, and this is the other thing I want. And I'm pretty sure Missy would totally agree with me. You guys at the end of the month, if your team is, you know, this close to hitting the next rank and everyone's putting in a little bit extra ordering, knowing that they're going to sell it in the next two to three weeks because they're going to be doing their consistent life parties. And so they're just putting in a few extra, like an order, an extra order this month instead of waiting, waiting a week to do it. Right. 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 If you're going to get yourself in financial trouble doing it, don't. Because no. that oh is my, not that would crush 
that is not what any leader wants is you getting in financial trouble or getting in a fight with your husband or something like that to help them. This is mm -hmm. voluntary. If someone is pressuring you, tell them to lay off and you have to do what's best for you and your business. If yes. you can yeah. help, awesome. If you can't, it's okay. You don't need to feel yes. guilt. You don't need to feel like you're a failure. Nobody, that's right. Nobody should want that for you. Okay. So mm -hmm. one little tip like that, don't just contact your team the last day of the month or last couple of days and ask them to buy a hundred extra pieces. Right. Right. And, and keep an eye on it all month long. Like my team knows that we have the potential to hit um, elite this month. They know that, but they know that. I mean, but they also know what they have the potential to hit. Nawanda can hit producer. Uh, Tamara is getting ready to hit executive producer. You know, uh, there are so many girls getting ready to hit executive director. You know, they know this. And that's what I want them to hit. Because if they hit that, we're going to hit elite. <laughs> that's, but that's helping them do that. You know, that's where I get, it's the synergy from last year's Empower Me Pink. That really marked me, that we do it together. And the the weakest the weakest birds in synergy, the where they were talking about it, they were in the front. And the strongest ones were in the back, cheering them on. And they got, they went further that way. And so celebrate everything. Celebrate a birthday, celebrate you know, someone, their son graduated, Nawanda had a grandbaby, celebrate everything, make it a family. Cause that's what we are. You guys, that's what makes the difference And Brandy or Brianna. I just want to just say to you personally, please don't let this hinder your success. I had a sponsor who was not invested. Um, actually, yes, last year it tripped me up a little bit cause she signed up a new consultant and I wasn't mad about her signing up a new consultant. I was just kind of like, is that girl going to get what she needs? <laughs> I was so just, you know, because I knew I didn't. But you know what? I didn't let that stop me. I just kept it moving. But I have that personality where I'm going to go after it. And I do realize that she makes, she makes probably some income from my team each mm -hmm. month. But it's very minimal mm -hmm. if she's not, if she's not a director and she's not working with two other legs and pouring into them and helping them succeed. It's nothing, you know, and we just, you just got to keep it moving. But I want to make sure that you don't lay that you don't exchange the precious for the cheap. Mm -mm. You keep going and do your thing. Okay. Yeah. Do not, if you don't get along with your sponsor, it's okay, guys. It's yep. okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many of us out here. I'll adopt you. You can <laughs> just go to the groups and get support there. And you don't have to be best friends with your sponsor. And if you're downline, I have people on my team that don't like me for whatever reason. Aww. I know. I want their names. I want their names. What's wrong with you? Who wouldn't like uh, Michelle? Oh, <laughs> there are people that lie about me and say things that are not true. And I just say, okay, you know, like I'm going to distance yep. myself from you a little bit and you can do what you want to yep. do. And I don't defend myself when there's no. lies and stuff. I don't go out and try to defame them and say she's lying. Um, people are going to figure out who's telling the truth. Yes. And, when and you can always tell. You can always outlive a lie. Yeah. yeah. Because people will come to me and go, oh, you're not who I thought you were because, and I say, well, I'm glad you found out for yourself the truth because that is, you know, you can't control other people's actions. You can't control what other people think about you. Some people are not going to like you because you're successful. Some people aren't going to like you because you're not this or that. Who cares? I mean, Right. Deep down, right. it might hurt, right? And because we want sure. everyone to like us and everyone to think we're cool and, you know, everyone to talk good about us, but that doesn't happen. Yeah. No matter no. how nice, sometimes you're, it's, they complain and don't like you because you're too nice. You're too perfect. You're too, I get that. I get that. You're, you're too, too nice. nice. You're too perfect. You're too, so no matter what you do, you just have to realize there are going to be people that don't like you and it's okay. You don't have to be best friends. You don't even have to be friends on Facebook. That's right. That's right. That's absolutely right. You're not going to be, and listen, the Bible says you should be concerned if everybody speaks well of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take that. You know, so, you know, that, you know, and, and this is just the, the minister inside me, 
you know, the, the enemy always comes up, up against the genuine thing because he wants to defame it. You know, he wants to diminish it. So just don't let, don't let someone steal your joy. Don't let them steal the path that God has set in front of you or get you off of it or distract you. If you are distracted with someone and you're thinking about their actions constantly, you need to regroup. Right. Because you're being, you, you, you're just kind of tormenting yourself. Yeah. I you know, um, if, but if you're constantly thinking about it, yeah, I told somebody that's giving them retail. It might be best to block somebody. If you're having this much conflict and this many problems, just block, bless and block. Yeah, it, it doesn't yeah. mean you're bless and it block. Mean, I love it. It doesn't mean you're enemies, right? It just means this right. relationship is not working and it's not beneficial for both of you. So it could be mm -hmm. a good thing to like let go of that and move on and move forward you guys do not yes. let any other person in paparazzi determine your future with paparazzi or anything Thank else you. sometimes we hear people i hear people say well i'm not going to work my business because i don't like my sponsor and i say so you're going to not provide for your family and you're not going to let god bless you because somebody mm -hmm. else did something that you disagree with well i'm making her money Okay, like twenty dollars a month, honey. Maybe yeah. twenty dollars a month. Yeah, go look. Go look at those numbers. <laughs> like, everybody always thinks it's you're making your sponsor way more than you actually do. Cause you want to make really good money, you have to have ton. You know what I mean? It's all about yep. team volume, not one person. So that's right. There, I I don't want to dwell on this, but you guys don't. No. I was let your say. sponsor or any other person determine your business because we yeah. are independent consultants. If your sponsor is pressuring you and this is still your business, if you don't want to work it as hard as your sponsor doesn't want you to, they might have really good intentions. They might see mm -hmm. your potential and know you could use the money and everything. But honestly, if you don't want to do that, you can say, look, I appreciate you wanting to help me so much, but this is what's best for me and my family and what I want to do. And they should respect you. Should. Yeah. When, and when we say reinvest, we mean from you selling jewelry. <laughs> we, you, you're reinvesting in that push for that. I do push for that because that comes from you selling and partying and that keeps you in business. But going outside of that and reaching in, no, no, not unless you can and you want to, like Michelle said, that's different. Um, but don't feel pressured to do that, especially... Yeah. So I agree. Let's move on. Okay. Let's do happy. Stuff. What are some tips for <laughs> recruiting? Do you have any other tips for recruiting besides what you've talked about? No, I really don't. It's just, it's just relational becoming their friend, um, seeing something in them and calling it out. You know what I mean? Letting them know, Hey girl, you'd be great at this. You know, sometimes they assume because a lot of their friends, especially when you have hostesses and they invite their friends, they assume, well, you've already got their friends. How are they going to make money? What they don't understand is it's $5 jewelry and we all have different jewelry and they can shop from all of us. So, um, but yeah, relational, become their friend. And if you are chasing someone to join, okay, and you're constant, you know, like, oh, I just can't get her to do it. Leave her alone. You are going to do that her entire career with paparazzi. Mm -hmm. And you are going to be so frustrated. It's going to be a it's you're good. Just don't do that. Or yeah, you, it's that's not her time. And it may not be her time. Yeah. Yeah. I love what the young lady said yesterday. Hey girl, you should sell jewelry with me. Not right now. I had several people say it and her answer is okay. Let me know if you change your mind. I think you'd be great at it and leave it at that. So easy. It's not scripted. It's not a copy and paste book and it's relational. Website orders. Um, I don't have a lot of website activity. I don't. I have seen, let's see, Alicia Williams is really great at uh, website orders. So if you can follow her, I love to follow top consultants mm -hmm. um, and get ideas. I do. I watch them. I listen. I, I love it. I was like a little kid when I met Alicia. I was like, oh my God, it's you. <laughs> You're so little. Yes. <laughs> when I met Michelle, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> You know, learn from, learn from each other. But Alicia Williams is really good at that. I don't know if Michelle intends to have her share, but, but you can follow her and she does great on website orders. Yeah. You guys, but 
my business on live parties, so it's kind of hard to get them to go to the impersonal when they're used to the personal. Right. Um, For me. I, I, don't, I don't get tons of website orders, maybe three or four a year. I don't push my yeah, website. Yeah. I do put my link out there because, you know, the, your website is good for more than just buying jewelry. It has information on. So if people yep. want to go read about it without talking to you, because I wanted to read before I talked to somebody. So I went and read about it before I talked to somebody. Yep. But I will, um, if you're going to, anybody that's on these, these little live videos with me, they are great people to follow. Now, listen, I do yeah. recommend you follow them and not friend them. Yes. This is why. A friend <laughs> list. It, at 5,000, it fills up and it should be their team and their customers and their friends and family. If you're someone that, you know, you may never meet them in life and everything like that, follow them instead of friend them so that that leaves more opportunity for the people that they have relationships with to mm -hmm. be their friend on Facebook. But yes, go follow these awesome people. Go follow them. Go follow yeah. them because yeah. you'll see. I always it, that I'm one, it's motivating. Private. And two, I learn from other people. If everybody thinks I come up with good ideas on my own, I don't. I'm like, oh, that's good. Oh, I'm going to do that. Ooh, that's, I never thought about that. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, if somebody buys off your website, you get $2.25 with your commission check. Yes. So it comes and with the commission, your, your team commissions. And BTW commissions have posted. Oh. Okay, commission what <laughs> on the eighth? So that means rank announcement. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Anybody have any other questions? Holy cow, it's like almost two hours later. Oh, yay! We have so much fun. <laughs> I gotta I go pack, everyone. I... I am going to I'm going to the airport in four hours to fly out to oh. uh, Kansas City. I will see everybody at the Springfield Empower Me Pink tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Empower Me Pink was so fun. You guys are going to, it's going to be so fun. You're going to love it. Yes, it will be. It will be. And then after Empower Me Pink, I can do a recap finally. <laughs> right? Yes. 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 And convention, go to convention, do it for your business. Yeah. It changed my team. It changed my business and it really changed me because of the connection I got with all the other girls. It just, it's great. Go to convention. It's worth every dollar. And if you have the four ninety nine kit, make sure you register that ticket. If you intend to go, Yeah. because they will sell out and be told no. So I just yep. want to throw that in. There. Yep. <laughs> all right. Okay. Any last, anything before we hang up or we close this with all of our fun, technical difficulties? With we all did it. We did it though. <laughs> we did it. Any yes. thing? Okay. Thank you so much for being on. These live chats are fun. You know what, guys? They are so fun. Please share with your team and at the top, right, listen to this, you know, because some people are like, so you share a video and they don't know what, you know, but if your team is not yes. listening to this, this is the kind of thing that people should be paying way more attention to than their favorite TV show. Yes. Because yes. these will help them more than watching a comedy or a sad this I don't watch this as us, but I I can tell from Facebook the last episode was really sad or something. <laughs> That's the only one I ever watched and I was invoicing and it was just on in the room and I got sucked in and it killed my heart. Oh. I'll never do that again. That is horrible. <laughs> don't do it. Serious. Like I was like what? It was horrible. I won't ruin it for anyone, but, and I was just, that's the first time I'd ever experienced it was the Super Bowl one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Never again. Never again. I was the best. Oh boy. Okay. Well, so, all right, you well, guys. Michelle, thank you. Go, you. Have guys. a great Friday set. Oh, I'm going to go post our Fearless Friday. Um, I'm giving $50 away if you post in there a fear that you faced this week and kind of the result. And guys, it doesn't have to be that what you wanted to happen happened. Part of succeeding is having small failures and having setbacks. And every, every entrepreneur, every millionaire, every billionaire 
had to overcome adversity, get through failure multiple times, have setbacks, <laughs> lose millions of dollars, you know, things like that. So, yes. Um, yeah. You anyway. can do this. We believe in you and you need to believe in yourself because you can do this. Ah! Yes. We believe yes. you. Okay. Love you guys. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.